Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of Pristine Peninsula. As you can probably see and or hear, uh, this is not usual circumstances right now. Uh, there's a little something called the coronavirus going around, and it's pretty much upended the whole world, um, including us in the tourism industry. We can't really do anything right now. We just have to meet like we are right now via either phone or Zoom uh, to connect with people. So I, I put the word out today to producer Andrew, and he found four very interesting people um, that have something to say about the quarantine um, and have a, a, a unique perspective. We're gonna start with our very first guest, uh, Mr. Big Bobby Maddock. How are you doing today, sir? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? It's good to see you. Thanks I'm, for inviting me. I'm doing good uh, considering the circumstances. Now, Mr. Maddock, I, it, it looks like that you might be in the downtown area. Is that Lansing in the state yeah. capital behind you? Can you yeah, explain why you're in Lansing? I, this is where I operate out of. This is where I do things for my, for my brother <laughs> and his wife. Okay. What, what kind of things? Are you allowed to talk about? Yeah, I can talk about it. I got my mask on so I don't get any computer viruses, you know. Those things are dangerous. But, uh, yeah, I uh, help my brother, Matt Maddock. He's a state rep and, uh, and his wife. I help him organize, uh, eh, what do you say? Most people call them political rallies. I don't have a name for them. Okay, I think, I think we might have had one of those. 24 yes, hours did. ago. Yeah. Yeah. That was me. I'm the behind the scenes guy. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll get a little bit more info information about that in a minute. Right. Uh, our next guest is uh, Paige the Washer Wallace. Is that, are you a, a washer? Uh, well, I, I am. I'm trying to make sure everybody understands that you must wash your hands at least 20 times a day, like every hour that you're awake, no matter what. And I, 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 you know, I keep this on while I'm at home and I have not left my house in almost six weeks just wow. to make sure that everyone in my life stays healthy. Okay. All right. Now, if you have to wash your hands, what you said, 20 times a day. At, at least 20 times a day. Now, is that like in Terminator 2 when uh, – Terminator Arnold Schwarzenegger gets part of his human hand taken off and he's got a robot hand underneath. Right. Is, are, are you down to your skeleton now? Well, I have found some really good moisturizers that also have the anti-infectious, -in antiseptic stuff. Um, it's homemade, and uh, and and it helps uh, lubricate my skin as well. So as as I do get a few nicks and and dry skin, I hurry up and put this stuff on, and it rehydrates. So it it not not only hydrates, but I think it penetrates with the the disinfectants. Okay, there's a lot it's going like on It's like a there. quarter cup of bleach, a little bit of a, yes, a little bit of ammonia, um, <laughs> some some of uh, uh, the uh, some good Everclear. Everclear is wonderful for your hands. So, sounds to, like to those you, it sounds like you're almost making a bond there <laughs> with ammonia. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get some more it's, information. It's a good combination for killing. It'll kill. It'll kill any. Yes, it'll kill okay. anything it touches. All right. Great. Uh, our next guest, uh, Mr. Art Richards. How are you doing today, sir? Uh, I'm doing the best I can. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, you know, uh, despite the circumstances, I, I'm not. I'm not able to go out on a street corner and shove my microphone in someone's face to ask them how they're doing and ask them about Michigan. But this is the next best thing, Mr. Richards. Uh, how are you being affected by this virus? Well, I'm stuck downstate with all these fudge suckers. That's how I'm being affected. Oh, you don't like using that that kind of language here, sir. I'm sorry. How's trolls work? Because y'all y'all you live under the bridge. We we will accept trolls. Okay. As long as it's capitalized. Or Capital Flatlanders. Troll. We got Flat. all sorts of names for you folks. <laughs> so, 
why exactly are you stuck down here? Is it a transportation issue? Is it a money issue? Uh, well, it's a uh, really, I mean, I came down state for, for work because the paper mill up in Escanaba wasn't doing so well. Uh, and, uh, you know, once things started going with the whole COVID-19 thing down here, uh, all my family was like, oh, no, you're not coming back up here. You're not going to infect all of us with your downstate virus crap. No. So I'm kind of stuck here now. Okay. I have a question for you. When you lived up in Escanaba, did you ever see Jeff Daniels, the actor? Um, I saw him once or twice. To be honest, nobody up in Escanaba liked that movie at all. Oh, okay. I haven't seen the movie. All I know is that it exists and that he's in it. Maybe we can contact him to make a sequel, shoot it up in Escanaba, and bring a little uh, money into the local economy. Eh, it might work, maybe. <laughs> okay. And uh, last but not least, uh, we have uh, an heiress to a salt mine emperor, Miss Magda Knickerbocker. La, 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 la. Miss Magda, hello, are you there? Oh, hi, Phil. Oh, hi. Oh, what a wonderful event with technology is. I know. Happy, this... happy Sunday to you. <laughs> yeah, I believe today's Thursday. Are you, in, uh, are you in the Eastern time zone? I am. I'm in my basement in my West Bloomfield mansion, of course. <laughs> oh, okay. What? What's so What's so funny, if I might ask? Why are you laughing a lot? The world. The world is funny and life is my oyster. <laughs> do you, do you, what do you think's going on right now in the world, Miss Magda? Well, I heard last there was a dark place of some sort. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just like to stay here with my friends. All my beautiful friends. My dolls. Oh, okay. I, I see a couple on the, the shelf. I didn't know if those were your <laughs> friends or maybe uh, a younger person's in your household's toys, or but they're your friends. These are all my friends. And they're almost like my children. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, we'll, we'll, we want to get some more information uh, about your background in a little bit. Let's go back to uh, Big Bobby. Is it okay if I call you that, Big Bobby? You call me whatever you want, as long as it's not late for dinner, eh? <laughs> uh, now, earlier you mentioned your brother, who is a, is, a, is a state rep or state senator? No, he's a state rep for, uh, you know, in Michigan. From what? A Brighton Which, area. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. you said you do some work for him. What exactly is that? I round up people. You know, he owns a bail bonds place, oh. him and his wife. So uh, we get him a deal, you know, when they get out, you know, don't jump bond. Come meet us up at the Capitol. Works out pretty good because some of them already got guns, even though they're convicted felons. Nobody did anything to them yesterday. <laughs> so the protests that you mentioned, were you involved in that at all? I was, uh, to, 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 to what extent? I wasn't actually in it. I just got my buddies, you know. I used to be in prison for a while. I watched from the rooftop with my mask on. And, you know, they're pretty damn stupid. I said, meet here, you know, four or 5,000 of them. And, uh, dang, if 10 or 15,000 idiots didn't show up, didn't have to pay them a thing. Well, that's good. They sound like they're easily influenced. Oh, yeah. They're, I like to call them uh, sheeple. That's what my brother and I call them. He said, give me 10,000 sheeple, and off I go. Don't, don't, don't say that publicly. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, well, I don't care. <laughs> Nobody knows me. Now I'm underground. Miss Magda, I saw you when I was talking to Big Bobby, you were were you pouring wine for your friends? Or is that oh, wine for you? That's wine for me. That's wine for me. They they can't drink. Let's not be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then are are you eating bagel bites? Or the little 
No, that's a lemonberry tart that one of my dear friends made me. <laughs> it looked like a bagel bite. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so I look like a mini pizza. I also have pizza. I like to mix my sweet and savory. Oh, I don't like doing that. Much, much like the races, the sweet and savory shouldn't mix. <laughs> that was a bad joke. <laughs> oh. I think B Big Bobby might have liked that joke. Um, Even oh. I didn't like that one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, I Sometimes. wouldn't have any friends if races couldn't mix with, between the Nords and the Swedes back home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I've let's... had a lot of pool friends. <laughs> now, Art, let's talk about the UP a little bit. I've traveled extensively up there. It's a beautiful part of the state, beautiful part of the country. Um, if you were talking to a troll, what would, what would you, how would you try to convince them to come visit you or to, to visit something in the Upper Peninsula? I know uh, there's, there's, there's only a, a handful of cities that have any sort of uh, population to them. Escanaba, Marquette, Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah, there's a lot of natural beauty, but what are some other things that people can do up there? Uh, well, they can, uh, you know, they're more than welcome to go to like Marquette or Sault Ste. Marie. Um, personally, I'd rather not have all these people, you know, looky looing around my town, uh, yeah. cause, um, and eating all, all the pasties. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're going to come to Escanaba, um, oh, that's a hard one. It's either Graham's pasties or Dauber's pasties. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's uh there's bad blood between people when it comes to those two um but uh you know sure go you know go see the locks or or uh the pictured rocks or whatever okay um but uh and yeah it will be friendly we're friendly folk um yeah. but uh behind closed doors you know, we did we did try to secede to make our own state. You know, not too long ago. So that's right. And do you know what it's gonna what it would have been called? Yeah, it was gonna be the state of Superior. Yeah, yeah. I've heard about that, and I thought that would be very interesting. Nothing like that has happened in America in probably 150 years. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get to uh, Miss Miss. Is it Miss Wallace or Miss Washer Wallace? What do you prefer? Paige just works just fine. Paige, okay. Paige, yes. I, it, like I said, I just try to do that so that I, I make sure to remind everyone to wash, 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 wash. I'm just wondering if Miss Magda, you know, those, those mini pizzas there, they, they were giving them away at the school, um, um, which was a wonderful thing for families that, that, that needed food during this time. And we've gone a few times um, Ms. Magda, do you have children? I mean, is that where you got those little mini pizzas? Oh, I, I don't like to talk about that, but I will. My, my fiance, Marcus, Euralius Jones, he left me. He left me at the altar. And, Sorry to hear that. Um, thank you. <coughs> and after that, I, I couldn't bear it. I couldn't go back out there, you see? I couldn't go back out. So, naturally, I can't go out there married, unmarried and, and a spinster. So I stayed at home. And I, I don't need to leave everything here that I need. Okay. Oh, my so goodness. Well, I, you know, as I said, I haven't left the house in like six weeks. So when we do send my my husband out to the store, we make sure he strips down to his knickers before he walks back into the house. That always makes it interesting for the neighbors to see him in his little underoos um, before he walks in the door. And then we throw him right in the shower and hose him down. No. Well, dear, you can send your husband over to me and I'll be sure to get him down to the Nickers. <laughs> now, Ma Magda, your last name is Knickerbocker, correct? That's right. And is that named after? The Knickerbocker Salt Fortune, naturally. Or is it named after the Knickers, your, the pants you wear? I guess what I'm trying to ask is Knickers short for Knickerbocker. 
you can buck my knickers if you like too, man. <laughs> uh, Magda, what time did you start drinking today? What time is it? Uh, 8.30, about, p.m. In what time zone? <laughs> Eastern. Um, it's, uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Los Angeles. It's literally 536 in Los Angeles right now. <laughs> now the time is irrelevant to me. Irrelevant. <laughs> now, Paige, uh, you, I, earlier you mentioned that you're, you're home uh, trying to school four children. Is that correct? Oh, yes. How, that, try, trying is the key word. Okay. Um, often, oftentimes the children don't get up until 4 or 5 or, or, or 6 p.m., you know, maybe happy hour in some states. For us, wow. it's morning. For us, it's morning. So, uh, and, and I'm up at the wee hours of the morning, so by the time they're getting up, I'm going to bed. <laughs> that sounds like me about in my early 20s. Um, what would have been some of the most, aside from the, the time differences and your schedules, what have been some of the difficult things with trying to teach kids? Is yeah. it trying to remember seventh grade algebra or what, what are some of the difficult things? Well, for my children, it, it, it's more about, <sighs> they're very intelligent children and the logic of them utilizing, hey, we're not in school, nobody is here, but you to make sure we do anything. So the, the out of sight, out of mind there, they're manipulating the system <laughs> to avoid the, the homework and the uh, traditional hours of operation. So are they at least going outside to play? to get some physical exercise or are they just staying inside playing video games and being on the computer? Well, I've put up like a little, um, uh, you know, those little cat cages. So, so I can let them out in there like a little pen because I don't want them to venture out too far because you don't know what kind of germs are out there. So they get to run around in this little pen for about an hour or so. See, there's one of them now. Did you oh. get your daily exercise today? Renee and I are going up swimming later. <laughs> <laughs> what's 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 this young man's name behind you uh hey cedric <laughs> cedric would you say hello to the other people here please hello cedric hello cedric, it's cedric today it's john cena <laughs> John Cena, so he's John Cena today. So he must be participating in his drama class today. So John Cena, that is my son, John Cena. Okay, well tell him uh, we said hi and that we might, we might have him on our show someday just for fun. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm sure that that is a, a, a goal in life. He does take in drama class. My daughter must memorize a monologue. Uh, so yes, yeah, it, it it makes an interesting entertainment here, at least to Wait, say the I'm very least. Class? You are now. When did you put me in drama? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're making me lose my protection I here. I do, do drama class. I mean, it's a coronavirus. The, the plague is outside. How can I do drama? See, the, the, there's logic for my children. He's worried about the plague. Yeah, there's also tell, logic that school nothing to do with the future of your life. Okay. So tell him uh, everything will be okay. Uh, Mr. Richards. Tell mom. Who who were you working for down here? And you said you got laid off. What what are the circumstances that made you get stuck? Well, I mean, there's the the things were still going pretty well on the line. I don't want to name the company just because I don't want to malign you know my my uh my employer okay uh this is one thing that uh you know we learned in our ethics up in the up um uh, but uh i will say it rhymes with pen record um oh, okay so i was just gonna ask was the founder of the company sympathetic to the nazis in the 1930s uh see we kind of try to just gloss over that part you know, it's um, funny because a couple months ago, we actually had Henry Ford on our show, 
And I remember asking him a question and he got really defensive about supporting the Nazis. So I understand it's a, it's kind of a soft area. So we won't go any further into that, but anyway, continue more. What, what's, what, what, uh, what plant were you working in? Were you working in Dearborn? Wayne? Oh yeah. I was working in Dearborn. Uh, and for some reason, you know, I was talking to people here in the area and they were like, you know, a hip place to live. You should live. It'd be a great place to live. It's a, you know, it's a, you know, maybe a 30 minute drive down to Dearborn Fort or whatever. It's not too bad. Uh, but, uh, you know, I want to talk to those people again, because I got on this, uh, this lease here in Royal Oak. And I don't know okay. if you know anything about rent prices in Royal Oak. They're through but, the uh, roof from what yeah. I heard. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm thankful for unemployment insurance in this time, but like I'm paying out the nose on a one bedroom apartment on, you know, just off of main street. Uh, it's a good location. That's why you're paying that. It's a loud location. Well, it's not so loud anymore, but <laughs> I mean, you try living there during arts, beats and eats. Oh, there's yeah. no sleeping. I'm no sure. Sleeping. Now, uh, Miss Magda, uh, I saw you were, were you cleaning your furniture okay. a second ago? I was trying to see what you were doing. No, it's Christmas time, and I'm making a gingerbread home. <laughs> oh, that's that's half of that sentence is correct. You did make a gingerbread home. Isn't um, it beautiful? Let's live in it, huh? Yesterday was tax day, and tax day is April 15th. Now, Miss Magda, I, I, I'm kind of curious about you. Um, let's 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 rewind a little bit. You said you haven't left your house since the Jimmy Carter days of 1979. Why me? <laughs> I I yeah. guess I guess ah. that's a good question. If you can have somebody bring you food, uh, I, what's your situation? How how do you operate within your house well, without ever leaving? I just have liquor delivered by the local liquor store, and every <laughs> once in a while, I, I pick up some dog food, and, and <laughs> I just I just come down here and I think and I and I touch her and I turn on my records and I. I just, I just don't remember what time it is, what day it is. It doesn't matter, sir. But I say I'm happy to see you. <laughs> I'm happy to see you too. You said you, you said you eat bird seed. Well, a girl's gotta eat. It. <laughs> Which mix, like the the songbird mix or the 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 uh, finch seed? Yeah, I'm a wild bird. I'll always be a wild one. <laughs> I thought they outlawed bird seed. Wasn't bird seed outlawed? When? Yesterday. A whole oh, day had a good supply. That's that's part of what the protest was for. People couldn't go to Home Depot to get their bird seed. Bird seed, right? And so that forced them to wear balaclavas on their face and carry AR-15s to the Capitol. That's how serious birdseed is. Right? right. Most of them didn't wear anything on their face because they had beards like you, Fizz. And everybody knows that a beard is a good personal protection device. I, I will I will back that statement up. It, a it beard filtered. once saved my life from a bear attack. So. Oh, wow. right. right. A bear attack. I might yeah, we got, got those up. More than one. You what? I myself have been a beard more than one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you look so healthy. <laughs> so, so let's let's let, let's backtrack a little bit. I know uh, it was common for uh, gay men in the fifties and sixties to have a quote unquote girlfriend or wife as a beard. Who were you a beard for? Uh, Rock Hudson or Andy Warhol? <laughs> <laughs> the soup can guy. But who wasn't? Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you made a painting of you. I seen that. <gasps> it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's by four different lady. colors. Four different colors. Yeah. Inspired by my lady bits. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it was all lady bits. That's lots of pink. Good. Lots of pink in there. <laughs> There's a reason why Skittles said face the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Miss 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 Magda, what what kind of what, what kind of wine are you drinking? 
I'm drinking a Sangiovese di Toscana, di Italia. Okay. That, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Now you know, let's you talk might want to be careful with stuff from Italy right now. Uh, it could have the virus. Yeah. I got a question. I've got many viruses from Italians. <laughs> <laughs> She reminds me of Catherine O'Hara on Schitt's Creek. That's what she reminds me of. <laughs> I, I heard that's a great show. I, I, I definitely need to watch it. Yep, I watch it when I'm recruiting. Get some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> now, Magda, mm -hmm. I want to learn a little bit more about your family's uh, salt mine business. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Be, please be very careful when you're pouring that wine. I will. <laughs> well, the year was 1932, and that's when my father was born. Uh, he was, he slid across the hospital floor, shot straight out of his mother's vagina, and then knew from that point on he had something to do with the world. And he instantly found friends later in life, and those friends were friends with rich friends, and those friends said, hey, friends, you know what's worth more than money? Salt. And then they showed him to a tiny little hole in the side of the hill, and he started picking away at that until he made a, a bigger hole, and then Everybody <laughs> said, well, let me help you with that bigger hole. And he said, all right, I'll pay you two pence for every little rock you pull out. And sure enough, then they had a salt mine. Okay. Now, I, I heard you mention somebody told him, your father, that salt is worth more than money. Well, that's how, right, how, darling. How, how is something worth more than money? Because money is what you use to what to define the wealth of other things. Oh, well, darling, let me tell you something, Fizz. Did you know that the root word for salary is actually sal, which is the Latin for salt? So actually, people <laughs> actually got paid with sal. Okay, mm. that, that certainly ch checks out. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that, is that salt mine, is it still operating today? I, I'm just wondering, do you have uh, an income or are you all old money from your family's fortune? I haven't dug my bank account in quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> NPD is closed, I hear. Nothing but dollars. National Bank of Detroit. They got merged into another bank like 20 years ago, if I remember correctly. So you might want to check, you might want to check that account. I'm sure it's fine. People still come and deliver food and litter to me, so I guess I'm all right. Hey, as long as the gravy train keeps coming, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Big Bobby, let's yeah. get back to you. Do you... Now, we're, we're not going to share this with anybody else in the outside world. This is just for us four, or yeah. us five. Do you have any other protests or anything, any political things planned? Well, uh, during this time, uh, you know what? I have retired from the business because they're going to do the same thing next Wednesday. So you may oh. want to leak that out. And uh, Joe Biden offered me a position. And uh, I'm going to switch over. Don't tell my brother or his wife, you know. And uh, But they got one scheduled for the 22nd. And that's a fact. You can look it up on Facebook. I, be I believe you. <laughs> yeah, now, it's kind of scary. For for your position with the Biden campaign, are you going to help him like remember things and remember how to talk and yeah. re remember not to touch women? Touch things. Yeah, that's my main uh, my main thing to do is slap his hand when he gets you know when he starts going. That's it. Good. No, no boy, like a dog. Good. You didn't know I was a professional dog trainer too. It's on my <laughs> resume. Well, that's good. Dogs, um, people, sheeple, all the same to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, now, do you, are are you? Did you guys do the protest yesterday simply because you found out that Governor Whitmer is on the short list of being picked by Joe Biden as a VP? Absolutely. Yeah. The uh, you, you know, Michonne's on the Trump committee, 
And uh, that's the truth. You can look it up on Facebook. And uh, Trumpy just didn't want, uh, he didn't want the competition. You know he's afraid of strong women. Me, yeah, myself, I like strong women. Okay. But yeah, you're absolutely, you're absolutely right. Ask me some more before I, I, I split town. I'm headed to D.C. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to spill the beans, wherever you want to know. Does anybody have any questions for, for Big Bobby? What you got? <laughs> um, I think yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering how you avoid um, getting carbon dioxide poisoning because I'm starting to get a little faint here with my mask. That's a good question. Yes. Uh, well, you, don't, you can't hold your breath, honey. Go <laughs> out. No, I know. Well, I'm just oh. saying. It, 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 I'm not getting new fresh oxygen. I, I've changed the filter 20 times today. Every time I wash my hands, I change my... my you, might, you might be a candidate for oxygen. If you can't breathe through that little flimsy mask, then I don't know what to tell you. Well, that, but I, I put my stainless steel because stainless steel is easily washed. Well, well I, got something, I got something for you. Just grow a beard. You'll be fine. Grow a beard. Don't shave yeah. for a little bit. Grow a beard. You never have to worry about a mask again. Grow a beard. I can, a bar. I can be a beard. All right. I, you want to go with me to D.C.? Be my first lady? Meg, Meg, are you going to be my beard? <laughs> I'll be a beard, lady. I guess I'm out of luck. I'll have to take art with me. What flavor is Skittles is that? <laughs> oh, honey, if I could <laughs> nail it down. <laughs> um, now, now, Mr. Art, uh, do you have any friends or family down here in Metro Detroit? That, uh, that no, you... not, not, not really. Uh, just my uh, co-workers. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm all by myself down here. Um, okay, and, and right now it's not really optimal time to meet new people or make new friends. So what, what have you been doing to stay sane and stay semi busy what have you been able to do um yeah uh i just try not to think about it you know <laughs> so i probably um, shouldn't have asked you that question just now uh yeah i mean now i'm starting to think about it and now i'm <laughs> kind of all alone in this world right now Aww. uh you know give, give me a second give me a second here you're not alone. Where was I'll, you? I'll knock that down. You'll get those feelings back down with some beer. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I kind of understand that uh, Magda lady with the drink and the wine all the time. That's uh, right, honey. Cheers. It's it's not really my thing, the wine. Uh, but I'll I'll knock back. Uh, you know, I'll just start knocking back a twenty-four pack as soon as I open my eyes in the morning or. <laughs> I was going to say morning is usually like early afternoon these days. Um, and then, uh, you know, I, uh, I've ordered, there's a pasty place in Clawson. Okay. It's, uh, you know, barbs, uh, but, uh, you know, it's in it. I'm not going to knock it. It's, it's good for troll pasties, but, uh, yeah. Um, it's not the same as, as up North, is it? No, no. Uh, and I've watched uh, the Fargo, both the movie and the series, multiple times. I know that's North Dakota, but uh, they, it feels feels like home. So and, and you guys definitely have the same accent. Uh, yeah, it's very similar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that northern Midwestern. Yeah. Now, Paige, uh, I couldn't help but notice a second ago you were you were caressing the the lampshade. Well, it's it's my light light to 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 read by, and it's it seems to have had an issue of. It's okay. not an issue. I didn't know if if you were messing with that, or if the the carbon dioxide was getting to you, or if you were having a stroke. I just wanted to ch <laughs> check in on you. It may be all of the above. I'm not <laughs> quite sure. And also, Magda, I, I saw you eating, was it a, a little wax apple or plastic apple, or was that a real apple? This is my main nutrition, you see. I love fruit. Well, that's, that's definitely a step up from birdseed. 
right? Yes, thank you. I, I have a varietal diet. I, I like everything. I love continental cuisine right here. I've been enjoying myself a delicious taco de Mexico. <laughs> that looks that looks really good. Thank you. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get to uh, the next part of our show, and we usually like to play this game called Would You Rather. Um, I will give you two different scenarios, and you have to pick which one you would like to do and why. And during this segment, you must refer to me as Quiz Williams, or I will deduct points. And I am keeping track of points, and uh, at the end, we'll see who has the most points, and you'll win a special prize this week. We're going to start with Art Richards. Now, I don't know if you're a fan of uh, fiction, but would you rather go to Hogwarts or go to Narnia? Oh, gee. Um, I mean, they both got a lot of the same stuff. Do Probably, they? Yeah, they, I mean, I've seen the movies. I'm not much of a book reader myself, uh, even though paper used to be my na- main source of income. So you're, you're, um, you're the, you're, you are the main reason why you lost your own job. That's, that would be like saying if you work for Ford, Hey, I bought a Nissan. Why did my plant go out of business? Am I right? I'm not um, trying to, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but yeah, you know, you know, I guess, I guess that could be part of it. Uh, but, uh, I'd probably, probably go to Narnia. There's less kids around. <laughs> okay. Uh, I could probably, I feel like I could keep my, uh, my lifestyle of binge drinking and walking around with no pants uh, pretty, pretty well in Narnia. Yeah, because Mr. Tumnus famously does not wear pants. Yeah, or a yeah. shirt. I'm thinking of the right guy, right? <laughs> Yeah, you see uh, that uh, the goat-footed fella. Yeah, I forgot. It was is yeah. it called a minotaur? Something so, like that. Uh, I think uh, what they call it, a fawn. A fawn, yes. Yeah, those do exist up in the UP too. So really. Yeah, it's a gonna, it's a well-known secret. Well, it's a secret, but I just spilled the beans. So we might have to have a fawn on our show someday. Next time yeah. we do an Upper Peninsula episode. Yeah. All right, the next question for Magda. Oh. Um, because I thought of you because both of these instances, I don't think you've ever encountered in your life before, but we'll see. Would you rather babysit a crying infant for a day or, (laughs) or have an unwanted house guest for a week? Oh my Lord, let me tell you, I've had so many unwanted house guests. Oh my God, Andy Rooney wouldn't leave. Oh God. Oh, I'm trying to think of all the people who upset me. Oh God. Well, uh, Andy Rooney or Mickey Rooney? Oh, both of the Rooneys. You can't get rid of a Rooney. Are they, were, were they brothers? I don't. I think they were cousins or something. I don't know. <laughs> Which one's the little tiny fella? That's Mickey. That's Mickey. Okay. My he was the one that did the Chinese. Oh, my God. You know, you have one tea party, and then everybody wants to stay. <laughs> <laughs> so what, 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 what's your answer? Now, you said you, you did have unwanted house guests, but... Would you want to have another unwanted house guest for a week or babysit a crying baby for a day? Well, let's say this. If art delivers, I'd like to check it out. Check what out? If yeah. art would like to visit me, he could oh, okay. knock on my doorstep, if you know what I'm saying. I, okay. I got a feeling make, make sure to ring, ring your bell, right? I got okay. a feeling COVID-19 would be the least of my worries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to the next question. This is going to be for Paige. Would you rather have unlimited data on your phone or have unlimited battery on your phone? That could be important right now that, that everyone's stuck at home on the internet. Uh, 
Well, I'd have to think about it, but I think unlimited data. So I could download all sorts of games over and over and, you know, um, I, 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 my, my phone sits right on the outlet at all times anyway. So I would guess I would have to say unlimited data unless something changes with electricity. Okay, cool. I like that answer. Uh, I will give you 12 gold coins for that. Wait a minute, I didn't get anything. I for, I, no, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, Magda, you get four sweatpants. <gasps> How dare you? I would never wear sweatpants. I, I was going to say, you probably don't have any, so I, we, we need to give you some. And Art, your answer was pretty good. You're going to get uh, 30 gold rings from Sonic the Hedgehog. All right. Yeah, I used to play that. Okay. It was a, it was a fun game. Um, now our last question uh, for Big Bobby. This is a pretty pretty cool question. Would you rather be able to walk on water or be able to breathe underwater? Well, Mr. Quiz, I'd rather be able to, uh, to breathe underwater because then if I need to get away, I could just swim through the channel. And you know, that's happened a few times. I got a, a bullet scar here. A bullet scar here, one at the top of my head because I didn't duck. I was uh, getting away from something. I can't tell you what, but uh, it had to do with Republicans. Okay. Now, you said across the channel, were you swimming across the Potomac there in Washington, D.C.? or uh, Nothing so glamorous. The, the North Channel up here in Michigan, you know, it was after me. What, what exactly is the North Channel? Uh, it's uh, where you go uh, sturgeon fishing over in Algonac. You never heard of that? I've heard of those other things, yes. Okay, so yeah. where, where the St. Clair River dumps yeah, it goes into over the... to Canada. Okay, I know I, you're I talking. I swam to Canada. Kind of by Harsons Island. You Somewhere in there, yeah. Okay, yeah. I've been to Harsons. That's a nice place. Yeah. All right, I like your answer. And since you referred to me as quiz... I did. You will get 20... Mario Kart red shells, Ooh, uh, yeah. <laughs> which are very valuable. Go Joe. He didn't give you blue shells though. No. What, what did the blue shells do? I forgot. The blue shells, they, they, they hit whoever's in first place. Oh, they that's right. Skip. Yeah. And, and they'll, they'll damage anybody who's in their path, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, I, I, I used to play Nintendo 64 with my nephew, so I, I know how how that game goes a little bit. That was a, that was a fun game. You know, I haven't mentioned my family at all. Mm. Yeah. Now, I, I have a, I don't know if you guys are listeners to the show. I have a wife, Cheryl, and uh, she's, she's doing good throughout this thing. Um, we were having a little bit of a rocky marriage. Uh, we had to do couples counseling. We can't do that physically anymore. So we're doing it. We do it via zoom. Like Wait, we're doing right now. Are doing, do it, your wife and you, do it over Zoom? Let's all do it over Zoom. Well, hey, that, that's going to be the next step in internet evolution uh, where you guys are talking about. But No, no, I, I was talking, is your wife on, an, on another, another computer? Like, Oh, yeah, she's on another computer in a different part of the house. And then, of course, our therapist is on the other end. I, I should have been more clear. Uh, and then I have a daughter. She's, I think, 16. <laughs> Her name's Clankley. She was actually on an episode recently. Uh, she was missing for a couple of weeks, and we had to go find her. She ended up being in Kalamazoo. It's a pretty, pretty funny episode uh, if you if you want to listen to it. Kind of scary too. There was a ghost in the episode because we filmed from a uh, an abandoned asylum. Anyway, Clankly, I'm teaching her how to drive. She's she's doing okay. Uh, I have a son named Torth. And he's having a hard time right now. He's ten. Uh, he's addicted to Fortnite. He's been in and out of Fortnite rehab probably six times now. And unfortunately, uh, he was in rehab again when this coronavirus hit, and they would not allow him to leave the facility. Oh, oh no. no. So he's stuck in this facility. Um, I don't, I'm not able to talk to him. I haven't been able to talk to him in three weeks. So Ooh. let's just cross our fingers and cross our toes and uh, hope that he's doing okay. Hey, I can get him out if he wants a protest next week. I can get him out of there. 
So you can spring people from yeah. prison, from yeah, yeah. Rehab. As long as they protest and they stay Republican, they're they're cool. So hey, can you spring me out of Royal Oak? I actually can. <laughs> Private message me, and I'll get you the information, Art. Oh yeah, we'll talk. I can okay. even get old Magda out of her house there if she wants. Ooh, <laughs> I'd like to see you try. <laughs> <laughs> now, Big Bobby, a second ago, you just said you'll support anybody, you'll spring anybody as they keep voting Republican. But uh, ten minutes ago, you said you're working for the, you're going to start working for the Biden. Right. And, so w- right. which right. one? Well, for me, <laughs> I'm voting for Biden, but you know, up until Wednesday. They got to they gotta go Republican because the people that are going to spring them out in Michigan are Republican. You know, my brother and his wife, Michonne, you know, okay. if they want, if they stay Democrat anywhere around them, they're going to be stuck there forever. They'll get extended. It's just the way it works with them, too. That's why I got to get away from them. They're a bad influence. Bad influence. OK. What, what if I'm Moose Party? The Moose Party? Yeah, not uh, Bull Moose Party, just Moose Party. Well, if you want to join in with the Democrats, we're cool, but those Republicans are pretty exclusive. They'll, they'll skin you and eat you alive. Yeah, that's why we don't trust them. No, nope. yeah, I, I don't blame you. I'm just, you know, a little enders, you know. And I'm an insider. <laughs> I may have to go into witness protection. I don't know. Oh. Well, you'll have to let us know about that. We want to keep in touch with you. Yeah, I'll have a different <laughs> name. <laughs> now, Art, you, you just mentioned the the moose party are, are they popular in the upper peninsula uh it's uh as right now it's kind of grassroots um but uh you know it's kind of a uh kind of a walk in the fence between like republicans and and like the green party really um you know we're just kind of working on keeping our moose alive so kind of like the libertarian party minus the greed yeah, I guess you could say that. And more um, of an em- emphasis on nature? Uh, well, specifically an emphasis on our moose. Okay. His name is Hank. Mm. Oh, so you're just talking about starting a party for one moose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I about Hank. He was a, he was a, Trump actually talked about him because he was on the list, the short list of being a vice president for Biden. And Trump was going to go after him till you come in and rescue him, Mark. So you would have had some people carrying AR-15s protesting Hank up in Escanaba. Man, that would have been ugly. Uh, no, we love, we love Hank up in Protecting. Escanaba. He's the most famous moose all the way from uh, Perrinville to uh, Gladstone. <laughs> you, you must know your Upper Peninsula pretty good. Well, uh, yeah, there's a city I mean, called Perrinville up there? Per- yeah, it's uh, between Escanaba <laughs> and Menominee. It's technically... Uh, Central, yeah, yeah, Menominee. <laughs> anyway, I found Hank wandering around Bark River, uh, and he had a bullet wound in him, and I pulled the bullet wound out, and the, the bullet itself, uh, I don't want to bring any heat on me, but it uh, there was a name engraved on the bullet that rhymed with Plinton. <gasps> oh, Clint, like Clinton? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Anybody listening? I did not say that. And they're I'm about not in Royal Oak. They're about four years late on that. <laughs> um, is it a silver bullet? No, it was actually it was it was uh, it was iron, mm. uh, straight out of Iron Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll we'll continue. Just a couple more questions with Would You Rather, Paige. Mm. Would you rather have 500 bad days followed by 250 good days or have 500 alternating good and bad days? <laughs> it's not a great question. <laughs> no. Um, that's we a can, terrible we, question, but I can we, answer. No, I, no, no. I'm not going to make you answer that. I'm going to the next one. <laughs> this, okay, this is, this is a good one. Would you rather instantly have a four-year college degree and all of the knowledge included or have $100,000 cash? Oh, that's easy. It's definitely the four-year college degree and all the knowledge that came with it. 
I can make with that. I can make the hundred thousand dollars, no problem. Are you sure about that? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. Okay. I, I, I think, I think, I guess it would depend on the subject matter. Yeah. That the degree came with, but uh, yeah, I, I think I'd go with the with the the college degree. Okay. Uh, that's a pretty good answer. We'll give you. Ooh, we'll give you one. 2007 BMW. Maybe I could go into Dolly friend making and then, you know, Miss Magda could keep me in, in, uh, in good condition by purchasing my specialized wares. Now, Ma Magda, would you be interested, mm -hmm. would you be interested in teaming up with Paige and making dolls or I, I should say friends, making friends? Oh, honey, I, I love making friends. If I can make that into a money venture, I'll say I'd be a trillionaire. Well, you would definitely be set for life. Now, what's what's this friend's name that you're cuddling? Oh, this is Kirsten. Okay. Uh, Kirsten enjoys, uh, well, mostly winter sports. <laughs> She's kind of a snow bug. She loves to ice skate. She loves to visit her friends in the snowstorm. And she bakes. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Well, you're very lucky to have her. Um, this question is for you, Magda. Would you rather save the world but die as a hero in the process or save the world but nobody knows? But you're still alive. God, if nobody knows, does anything matter? Like, <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Fall in the world? <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. Mom. Publicity, you have to have publicity. But, but then you wouldn't be alive to enjoy the publicity, you know? Oh, you darling. Life doesn't mean what you think it means. <laughs> okay, let's get philosophical here. What does life mean? Hmm. Life is love. Life is friends. Life is love to the end. Okay. Would you like some eggs? Uh, yeah, that's, I'll, I'll have some eggs in a little bit. But thank you for for your philosophy on life. That was uh, that was very very interesting. All right, um, I'll give you three pink three pink dresses for your answer. Uh, it's a pretty thank good answer. Chris. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, you're welcome. Yay. And I'll give you an extra dress because you you referred to me as Quiz. All right. Well, we're getting to the end of the show. Um, what, I think Art needs one more question. Art, would you like one more question? Uh, yeah, sure. Quiz. Okay. That'd be great, quiz. <laughs> All right. I see what you're doing there. You're trying to get the points. Uh, would you rather be buried alive or be eaten alive? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a very that's good a question. good question. <laughs> um, I mean, either of those is really a huge possibility when you grow up in the UP. <laughs> um, if it's not the bears or the wolves uh, that'll eat you alive, uh, it's uh, you know you could fall into a mine or something. Um, so, having had half my leg gnawed off by a, a wolf before, I'd rather be buried alive. I think. Oh wow! I'm sorry to hear that about that medical condition. I got better. Uh, did it grow back like a starfish? Well, not not quite, but I mean, I mean, I got the uh, uh, what you call it the the prosthetic. The, no, no, the antibiotic cream. Um, I can't remember the brand name. Uh, Cor is it cortisone? Neosporin. Neosporin. Yeah, there you go. Neosporin. Yeah, I I just slathered it in neosporin, and I mean, yeah, my calf on my right side's a little a little smaller but uh 
<laughs> you should try you should try my homemade bleach everclear secret ingredient lotion mix. That sounds like something my cousin Oli would have made, actually. It might melt your skin off, who knows? You should see Oli. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I like your question there. So I'm or I was sorry, I like your answer there. I want to give you 14 bananas. Well, plus two extra bananas because you called me quiz twice. All right, now I gotta calculate the answer. Carry the two, convert sweatpants to BMWs. And our winner today is Big Bobby Maddock. Now, I want you, I want you to spend your money wisely. Uh, I'll, I'll wire you uh, $5 into your account. So. Please spend it wisely. That's a lot of money these days. I will, because I'm going out of town soon. Right. To work give with, me the specifics. <laughs> to work with Mr. Biden. Yeah. Uh, so we are getting to the last part of our show. And this is the part of the show where we like to have our guests uh, be able to plug anything, any commercial things or any creative things they're working on. Uh, Paige, would you like to plug anything today? Well, I just want everyone to make sure they wash their hands and remember that bleach and Everclear and lotion mixed together makes a wonderful hand cream because I'm getting close to my time. It's been almost an hour and I got to wash my hands again and I have to, you know, strip down because I wash all the way up to armpits when I wash my hands. That's good. Better safe than sorry. Yes. Yeah. And you, you might want to think about selling that. I, I'm I'm thinking I'm coming up with a name. I, I'm sure, you know, I bet you Art and, and Big Bobby, I, I was thinking Chianti for for in Magda's honor, but but I'm thinking something that appeals to both Republicans and the Hicks. I mean uh the, the Youpers might be a better combination. Oh yeah, I'll I'll take Hicks, that's fine. But uh, if you're gonna name it Chianti, you should your slogan should be it puts the lotion on its skin. Oh. Yes, that's a wonderful tagline. And, you know, you could create a character for the label of the, the bottle, and it, he'll look like Keanu Reeves, but it'll, he'll be called Keanti Reeves. Keanti Reeves, that's a wonderful, that's wonderful. He could be, he could be drinking, drinking and have the, uh, have a, a, a nice, you know, coonskin cap, you know, or, or what do we have, the Wolverine? Maybe you have a Wolverine yeah. cap on. Okay. Oh, yes. And, and Art, do you have anything you'd like to plug? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I'd say, uh, you know, there's plenty of deals going out on uh, uh, certain American-made vehicles right now. Yes. Um, so I know we all just were getting these uh, stimulus checks, and I know some people got to pay bills and whatnot, you know, take care of what you got to take care of, but... Uh, <laughs> No, actually, no, don't do that. Buy a car, please. <laughs> I got to work. I'm going crazy. Okay. Yes, everybody, if you can afford it, buy a brand new car. <laughs> from from Penry, Penry Cord. From that famous Nazi sympathizer. Uh, Big Bobby, do you have anything you'd like to plug today? Well, the only thing I'd like to say is do not go to that rally next week because it's not going to bode well for you. Uh, <laughs> They got away with it once. I don't think you're going to get away with it this time. That's why I'm leaving town. I got some inside information that uh, the National Guard's probably going to crack down on them this time. Oh, no boy. more walking around with AK-47s. No face mask. Beards aren't going to be good enough for a face mask. And no children. Keep your children away. You okay. Dumb, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to swear, but I didn't. No. Thank you. I want to thank you guys for being on the show um, during this very strange time we're living in. Thank you to our listeners out there, all 12 of you. <laughs> uh, thank you for supporting Pristine Peninsula this last year and a half or however long it's been going on. It's been a lot of fun. And with that, I'm going to end the show. Uh, say goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you for goodbye. giving my life meaning yeah. for an hour. <laughs> That's not the correct. Thank you.